aviation is highly sensitive to safety. One of the primary objectives of an air traffic controller is to prevent collision between the aircraft. This objective is achieved by ensuring that there is always a minimum separation between two aircraft. Every aircraft is separated by other aircraft by a set minimum separation. Primarily, there are two types of separations. One is horizontal separation and the other one is vertical separation. In this video, let us understand the basic principles of vertical separation. When we are talking about vertical separation, we should keep an important altitude in mind. That is flight level 410, which approximately translates into 41,000 feet. In some airspaces, this altitude can be flight level 290 or 29,000 feet. Such an airspace is called non-RVSM airspace. These airspaces are very rare and hence let's only concentrate on 41,000 feet. All the aircraft flying at or below flight level 410 or 41,000 feet are separated vertically by 1,000 feet. All the aircraft flying above flight level 410 or 41,000 feet are separated vertically by 2,000 feet. This is because the accuracy of the measurements will reduce as the aircraft goes further away from the ground. It is the responsibility of the air traffic controller to ensure that the aircraft fly in the altitudes separated by the set minimum vertical separation. However, to make the aviation safer and a controller's life easy, a system called semicircular method of allocating flight levels is adopted. This system ensures that there is an inbuilt separation between the aircraft flying in opposite directions. Let's understand how does this work. Irrespective where the aircraft is flying, if the heading of the aircraft is easterly, meaning, if the head of the aircraft is in a direction from 0 degrees to 179 degrees, then the aircraft is allowed to file and fly only the odd levels. Odd levels are 1,000 feet, 3,000 feet, 5,000 feet, 7,000 feet, etc. till 41,000 feet. If the heading of the aircraft is westerly, meaning, if the head of the aircraft is in a direction from 180 degrees to 359 degrees, then the aircraft is allowed to file and fly only the even levels. Even levels are 2,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 6,000 feet, 8,000 feet, etc. till 40,000 feet. Keep in mind that this rule is applicable only for the aircraft flying at or below 41,000 feet. Let us try to understand this with an example. Consider two aircraft flying an easterly heading, say 090 degrees. So, they can fly only at odd levels. For example, 29,000 feet and 31,000 feet. Now consider two aircraft flying in westerly heading, say 270 degrees. So, they can fly only at even levels. For example, 30,000 feet and 32,000 feet. As you can see, this system automatically ensures a minimum of 1,000 feet separation between the aircraft flying in the opposite directions. If you make further observation, you can see that if two aircraft are flying in the same direction, then they are automatically separated by a minimum of 2,000 feet. Similarly, if the aircraft are flying above 41,000 feet, then the aircraft in the opposite directions are automatically separated by 2,000 feet and the aircraft in the same direction are automatically separated by 4,000 feet. 